Hi all, Tech Terry down here. Today we're going to talk about Arc. Finally got access to the browser and wanted to take some time to walk through what it looks like and my first impressions. Here you can see a nice little fun playful line to drag it into the applications. This really sets you up for what Arc is going to be like. You can already see it's a little bit more playful. It has a really neat animation here to open up the browser, making it a more luxury feel. Once you go to actually start your browser, there is a really nice way to pick the different colors. You can pick one color, which you can see there, or you can choose two different options, move it around and it'll give those different colors. You can change the intensity or the gradiness to really give it a custom feel, however you would like. And you can also import uh, if you're already using Chrome or Firefox, it will allow you to import the settings and the profiles from those browsers. Once you actually go into the browser, the first place it'll drop you is into what they call a space. And so I'm going to expand the view here just so that you can see. But a space is essentially uh, a profile or a set of tabs or browser windows that you want to have grouped together. They drop you into a generic one just called space one. You have your favorites, which are apps that are easy for access, pin tabs that you want to keep around, and these explore tabs. We all open up so many tabs during the day, it can get a little congested. And so these get tidied up every day at the end of the day and will disappear, giving you a fresh start. So anything that you want to keep, you put in pinned. And the favorites being your go-to apps or applications. So things like Twitter, Google Calendar, YouTube, Figma, etc. So you can already tell it looks very different than a browser you might be used to. All of this would probably be at the top if it were something like Chrome. This is just a really neat feel over here on the left though. And looking at these different spaces, you can create different sections. And so I've created a new space called Tech Teardown. So you can see even the color changes when I switch between the two to help me know where I'm at. And you can start browsing. Now what's really nice is that when you cl click to create a new tab, it brings up this Omnibox where you can type in where you want to start browsing. Maybe I have a tab here open for the browser company. If I wanted to open a new tab, I can quickly go here. Maybe I want to go to the New York Times to see, read the news, and it works just like a regular browser. But what's really fun is being able to use two features that are called easel and notes. And you actually access those by clicking this plus sign down below, and you can see there's one for notes and one for easel. So let's start with the notes. So if you click notes, it's actually creating this note in Arc itself. And so you can use these to type any notes that you might have. Now this is really helpful if maybe you're a content creator or maybe if you're just you like to take notes on different topics that you're interested in. You can choose here to do the different header options, different text sizes, lists, bold, add in pictures or links, and you can have these live in Arc itself. Give it a different name. And what's neat about the notes is that you can actually also do a split view. You're often browsing, but you want to have notes on the side. And so what I can do here is have this test note actually be present while I'm browsing the internet. So this is really neat. I think this is something we might already do with Apple notes, but having these live side by side in the same browser is really fun. Now, another feature that I'll mention here is the ability to take screenshots within the browser itself. So if I were to hold down command shift, I can just drag and that's going to take a screenshot. And it'll give me some different options here. I can save it to the library. I can copy it and send it via iMessage. It'll give you some really awesome options here. So I will just save this to the library. And that's going to pop down here in our library. So the library contains all of those screenshots. It also contains items from your desktop so that you can quickly get to them. And so I can just drag that picture that I just took into the notes section. So you'll see there that that note has just captured the screenshot that I had here. And I could leave 
some notes on that. This is a really neat way to keep those notes there. Maybe I would even want to change that icon to be something different just so that I could remember. This is my test note. So it's already up here in this set of pins, so it's not going to go anywhere. And so let's talk a little bit about easel. So while notes gives you this text editor, that's really nice and easy to use. Easel gives you something a little bit more creative. And so if I go into the plus sign again, of course, there's keyboard shortcuts. I can create a new easel. So they describe it as a scrapbook for the web. You can automatically capture screenshots. You can write with your mouse and you can share the easel with other ARC users or anyone on the web so that they can see it. And this is really fun because you can create these shareable links. So test easel. And so if I were again, browsing the internet and wanted to create this nice looking easel, I can put it on either side. I can then take this screenshot and you can see that I can save it quickly to that test easel and it keeps the link itself. And so that's a really nice looking link there. And so it keeps the context of where I actually took this from, which is a really nice feature. And you can use the pen tool to draw you can add in some fun shapes and a lot of different creative things that you might be able to do within the easel itself. So this is one of my favorite features of Arc Browser. If you hover up here at the top, so maybe we wanted to move the notes over into the right section, I can just click move. You can see it's flipped it over. Or if I want to remove it, I can choose this option to remove the tab and that's going to get rid of it. And so now I'm just looking at my easel. And you can see that I have everything that I would need over here penned automatically and the tabs that I'm browsing down below. Let's talk about another one of my favorite features here, and that's the ability to quickly get to the apps. And so you can see we have an app here for Notion automatically. So Notion is one of the featured apps. You also have Google Calendar, YouTube, Figma, Slack, which I didn't select would be here, Twitter, Google, Gmail, and then Spotify as well. So this is pretty neat. It allows you to quickly get to those that you might use quite frequently. And if you hover over, you also have some quick options. So for example, you might want to create a new Figma file very quickly. So you could create that straight from the browser and you never have to go in there. So that's something I really love being able to quickly create those documents. And so what you would have noticed, there's just a lot of stuff that's fun about this browser. So you can see here, the colors that it's using are actually those that I selected earlier. So this sort of red and blue. But if you're clicking on different apps, it actually changes the color here. So this one is purple. Now, where's that purple coming from? Really fun. It's actually coming from this emoji. So if I change it to this green emoji, it's noticed that and switched it over. If I change it over to maybe a red emoji, it's now switched it to be corresponding with the emoji that I've selected. Little things like that make it go a long way in just how the experience actually feels in using this particular browser. So let's talk a little bit about the library. So if you were to click into the library down here, you can see a lot of different files. Uh, you can see just the screenshots that you've taken within Arc. You can see the list of downloads that you might have. You can see your desktop, or you can see easels or notes that you've created over time, and they will appear in this section. Keeps your desktop clutter free by keeping all of those screenshots that you take in one place. So if I were to take a screenshot here of this section, it automatically has saved it to the library and you'll see the screenshot has now appeared over here. Even the way that you can see here, there's a fun interaction where as you move your mouse around, you've got this sort of tilt effect. It's just something that is very unique and not uh, sort of micro interaction that you see on a lot of other websites or no browser that I'm aware of. I'd love to know, what do you think about Arc? 
what questions do you have? I'm really excited to see where they take it. I've been using it for a little bit now and I'm blown away by the experience and I can't wait to use it even more. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this one. And let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. If there's anything you want me to test, I'm happy to do. Thanks for watching.